Day 20. Oh man, this is, uh, we're getting close to the end now. So let's, what's, what's the question? How would you reboot the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? Now, uh, sorry to be like a, uh, another nerdy boy. I haven't read the comics, but, uh, I hear, from what I hear, they're pretty great, but they're also pretty grim. Very different from the movie that I saw and thoroughly enjoyed. And yes, it did make money, it's just that a whole bunch of people got into fights on set. Uh, yeah, so, and every, it seems like a lot of people took Sean Connery's side when he decided, that's it. <laughs> not remembering or realizing that he's not a young man anymore <laughs> and probably was gonna just do this as the, the fr last franchise he would do. And that would be it. And people point to the fact that he he chose that role over uh, Gandalf because everyone assumed he would make a great Gandalf. And I'm like, don't uh, he might have made a good one, but I don't think he would have. Like, okay, Sean Connery, James Bond, uh, very uh, been in a whole bunch of action films and that uh, and. Uh, not, he has dipped his toe into other realms like First Night and all that, but the guy tended towards the, lean towards the action stuff. He'd done the Avengers, uh, and I'm not talking about the big huge hit movie that we got now, no, he did the, uh, British version of the Avengers, and yes, that's why over in the UK they did the Avengers, uh, Assembled was the title or something. But, uh, you look at these two roles. Uh, Gandalf the Wizard, uh, Wizard, Gandalf the Grey, Wizard the Fellowship of the Ring, doesn't do too much in there. He's just a lot of talking and stuff. Uh, much better for Ian McKellen than it is for Sean Connery, who's action superstar. Uh, Sean Connery chose Alan Quatermain in a very... What seemed, it seemed to me like the better choice, uh, action-packed story, um, I'm not saying it's not better, that that movie's better than Lord of the Rings, I'm just saying it's different, it's more up his alley. So yeah, that's why I think Sean Connery picked that role. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'd stick close to the comics, uh, read the source material and find out what worked about what worked about it, what would work on screen for it, tell my own story. But, um, not really go changing the characters too much. Like, stay with their source of what they are. And probably, probably still piss off a bunch of fanboys. And it's, oh, it's not like the comics. Well, it's not going to be like the comics. Because <laughs> when doing an adaptation, you have to give people a reason. Why am I not just reading the book? It's, why am I not... If it's a TV show, why am I not just re-watching the TV show? you got to tell your own story in that format. So, yeah. Stick close to the comic. Uh, I haven't read it, but so... Um, but I like the idea. I like the idea of... Because <clears throat> you don't need to do... When, when doing a League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, you don't need to do... Um, little source movies because they've all been uh, most of the stuff has been adapted before uh, so you just have to let people know that this is this character this is this character so you can go straight into your team assembly movie because um you haven't you've done a whole bunch of source material for that or a whole much bunch of adaptations for that stuff before so yeah all right uh, so that's day 20. Uh, we'll be back with, yeah, day 21. And that'll be an interesting one. <laughs>